Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix Sweet and I'm to in this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you high-end skin retouching and color grading in both Capture and in Photoshop. So I'll show you my workflow for getting amazing skin tones in Capture. And later on we're just going to proceed to Photoshop so that we can do the skin retouching. And if I told you a beginner and you haven't used Capture before, this is a tutorial for you. So just want to transform the image from this. You can see the before and after for this very image so let me first of all give credit to the photographer of this image this image was taken by no the law and i'm going to link his instagram in the description of this very video he is an amazing photographer so if at all you want to check out his work make sure you check the links in the description of this video so right now we're just going to go straight into how i did or process the raw file to look like this just going to come and i reset everything so the very first thing i'm going to do is cropping the image so i'm just going to come to capture one and i'm using capture 121 and if at all we are working and you want your panel to look like mine simply come to window and come to workspace then you come to migration and you'll have your capture one looking like mine so what i do in capture one i tend first of all come and crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10 so i'm just going to come and crop this image i'm just going to get a very tight or close up because i want this to be more of a beauty portrait or a beauty shot so i'm just going to crop this in and drag so after approving that i have the right crop for this image i'm just going to come and simply press enter on the keyboard so after approving that i'm just going to simply press enter and right now i'm done cropping the image so in capture one the very first th thing i tend to do is coming to my basic adjustments so i take the helix down and i do the same for the white so this is more of a personal preference if at all you are doing the basic adjustments to your images i'm just going to come and add up the contrast just like that then i come straight to my levels and i'm just going to drag in my blacks just like that to add a better contrast look to the image and i'm just going to come and turn up the hairs slightly and add some clarity to the image to around three so that is basically what i do when it comes to the basic adjustments to the image and after doing this i simply come and i create a new field adjustment layer by pressing on the caps lock icon so i right click on the plus like plus icon and create a new field adjustment layer for the color grading process so usually when i have skin tone after creating a new field adjustment layer i simply come down and i select or in the color editor and i select my skin tone adjustment so if i told you you're missing this tool simply right click in the adjustment window or panel and come to add tool and add whichever tool that you're missing in your capture one so after doing this the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to scroll to my color balance like i said or color editor and i'm just going to come to skin tone get the eyedropper tool and, and i'm just going to zoom in command plus or control plus and i'm going to sample the area of the skin tone that i want to re represent the rest of the image so this area is okay i'm just going to zoom out so i'm just going to scroll down to where it says uniformity so basically I want to get a uniform skin color for or skin tone for this model. Just going to come to my hues and start taking it up. And you can see just moving this is going to make the image look better. I'm just going to bump or pump up the saturation. So in this case, the image is going to look a little bit yellow. But remember, the more warm the image is, the better it is to color grade it in Capture One or to get the best out of the skin tones so after doing this i'm just going to come to the amount and and amount i'm just going to add magentas within uh, the skin tone so you can see the right option adds greens to the skin tone and this adds magentas or reds to the skin of the model and after that i'm just going to come and take down the lightness then come to my color balance and in color balance i'm simply going to add a cyan to cool down the skin tone towards my shadow areas 
so you click the more you bring it towards the circumference of the circle it is going to intensify that given color so the closer it is to the center the less intensity that you have of a given color that you're trying to target so i'm just going to come also add the same color to the midtones and that is going to make the skin look a little bit better so basically this is what i do then i'm going to come back to my saturation or and under uh, the amount and i'm just going to knock up the saturation and simply take down the lightness even more so basically this is what i do when it comes to having uniform skin color but if at all you want to add more reds to the skin tone simply come to the basic and come to your oranges and you can add more magentas or more reds by taking the hue slider of the oranges towards the red side and that is or oh, that looks okay so you can see a quick before and after for the color grading within capture one this was the image before after before and after so it is time to take it to photoshop to do skin retouching so basically what i do i come to my image right here you can right click on the image so you right click on the image you come to edit with and you come to photoshop 2020 so basically what i tend to do i prefer a format of tiff and compress i see the profile is 98 adobe rgb 300 pixels per inch and the scale is fixed i prefer a 16-bit image and simply go to edit variants and the image is going to go straight to photoshop for us to do our skin retouching and if at all you're finding this video helpful i request that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there who are interested in learning color grading processing the raw files in caption and also skin retouching as a whole when it comes to retouching their images or portraits within photoshop so we're just going to open up photoshop to do our skin retouching and with skin retouching we are going to learn about frequency separation so basically as it is loading let's understand the concept of frequency separation frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer in the high frequency layer usually we have the colors in the high frequency layer usually we have, we have the textures and in the low frequency layer we have the colors so we're just going to create those two layers for our frequency separation by selecting the background layer and pressing ctrl j twice or command j twice and you're going to name this into low frequency or you can call it colors and you're going to name this into high frequency or you can call it texture so i'm just going to get my spelling right so after doing this i'm just going to come and select the low frequency layer and turn off the high frequency layer so in the low frequency layer like i said we only want to retain the colors in this very image so simply come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur so with this just come and look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of uh, the image in this case so for this case i prefer this point right here it has more textures than the rest of the image and i'm going to simply take up the radius up to the point when those details are just starting to disappear from this image so at around 7 that is when i'm just stop starting to lose out on the details within these areas so you have to stop at the point when you're just starting to close out on the textures within the photo that you're retouching and simply press ok and the image is going to turn out all look blurry when you apply the gaussian blur to the textures because it has affected the overall layer so just come to the high frequency layer and now activate it simply come to image and come down to apply image so when you come to apply image simply come to the layer from which you want to subtract the textures which is the low frequency layer and now the blend mode has to be the most important emphasis for this case so just come to blend mode and if at all you have 8 bit right here your blend mode is going to be subtract or pass that 100 preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale is 20 offset 128 and make sure invert is not turned on and you see the textures on this gray kind of layer but if at all you have a 16 bit like i have here come and change the blend mode to add 
Opacity at 100, preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The scale is 2 and offset 0. And make sure you turn on the invert option and you have this the same results like we had for an 8-bit image. So just come and simply click on OK and that is going to apply the textures on this high frequency layer. So we won't get back the image that it was meant to be. So come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way to linear light and we'll get back the details all the way the image was meant to be before. So you're just going to select both layers and press Ctrl G on the keyboard to group them. And you're going to double click to rename this into frequency separation. So after doing this, you're just going to open up our frequency separation group and we start retouching this image. So come and select the low frequency layer. Remember, every single time we are retouching images, we want to blend or even out the transitions within the skin area. If I told I'm to zoom in and I'm just going to come and create an empty layer and I show you what I'm trying to mean. So I'm just going to get the brush tool and get any color to show you or display it for you. So you can see these areas within the skin are having uneven transitions among them. So I just want to blend or even out the transitions within these various areas. So that we, after doing or blending the transitions, we can end up with a nicely retouched image. So I'm just going to delete this because that was for purposes of showing you where we, we are going to blend or even out within the image. So what we are going to do, we are just going to come under the brushes and simply select the mixer brush tool. So right click under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool. But if at all you are having older versions of Photoshop, you may find your mixer brush tool in this area here. I'm using Photoshop 2020. So you have to set up the mixer brush tool. I'm just going to be using a hardness of 0% meaning it is a soft mixer brush and the clean brush is selected. Make sure you select the option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke because we don't want to carry colors in the skin tones from one area to another because we have a difference within the way light was falling on the skin tones and it creates a variation or a difference within the colors in the skin tone areas. The weight we are going to be using is 9% the load of 75%, the mixer of 90 and the flow of 100%. So make sure sample orders is not checked because you only want to work with the information in the low frequency layer. And when this is done, simply turn off the textures or high frequency layer. And we're just going to go straight into mixing and blending the transitions within the skin tones of this very image. So how to do this, you can use the shortcuts of increasing the brush size or decreasing it by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. Then if at all your mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon like this, make sure, make sure that you press the caps lock key on the keyboard and that is going to bring back the default shape of the brush. Then if at all you want to blend better, turn off the texture or, or the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer and we're just going to come and blend the transition so if at all you're retouching make sure that you don't zoom in the image because when you zoom in you may not be able to see the inconsistencies within the transitions in the skin tones of uh, your portrait so make sure you really do or retouch your images from a distance and that is going to help you get better results and it is going to help you save so so much time in the long run and as you're working on the images always make sure that you really work with different sizes of the mixer brush tool depending or depending on how big or how small that area is and just come and work on it using a size that really matters so just going to come and paint or blend those areas so if at all you want to see the progress for your mixer brush tool, you can turn on the texture layer by turning on the visibility icon right here. And you can just come and turn on this and you'll see the textures back. So after doing this, the more plastic the image looks when you, you have turned off the texture layer, the better the results you're going to be having at the end of your 
screen retouching process within Photoshop. So you're just going to come, you can see that we still have the textures within this very image. So just come and turn this back off and you can come and even out the transition. So basically this is how you can do your skin retouching when it comes to Photoshop and you can work on every single area and you can have better results if at all you practice more and really give your photos enough time when you're retouching them. So basically I just wanted to show you everything. So just keep on working and blending or even out the transitions using the mix mixer brush tool and when you're done doing all this you can come and make or work on those tiny adjustments like the eye and teeth whitening and i have a couple of tutorials that will guide you on how to do your eye and teeth whitening within photoshop so let me just do some quick retouching here and i'll show you a quick before and after for the retouching process on the skin or on the skin area of the model so let's just look at what we have done for the skin for just those few strokes of a brush and we shall call that a day so you can see we have turned on the texture layer but we have still retained the original skin textures that were existing within this very image so you can see that we have really done a good job in a short while so basically this is how to color grade and do your skin retouching in photoshop using frequency separation and if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this tutorial to so many people out there ronix for Ronix photography Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.